Thanks Selfrecker University for sponsoring this video. All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna to be using the half guard and the one and a half guard as the only guards that I use for this self haircut. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna be using the trimmer or the clipper because I still want a really short haircut, but if you're limited on guards, right, you don't have the one guard, you don't have the two guard or the three guard, and you only have, for some reason, the half guard and the one and a half guard, this is gonna be the video for you guys to watch. So with that all being said, let's jump right into this self haircut. I'm gonna be putting in the guideline a little bit lower than usual because the one and a half guard is gonna be the highest I go with the guard. With the two guard lever open, which is what I usually do, I'll be able to stop a little bit higher, but today I have to stop a little bit lower. So with that being said, I have to create my first guideline lower than I normally would. So let's begin. So now I'm going to be using the clipper with no guard and the lever in the open position, all right? And I'm going to be going up about half an inch to like three quarters of an inch, right? This is it, I'm a little nervous, so I need to get some water first. Call me the water boy. Cheers. So I have the half guard on my clippers. Lever is open, right? Always lever open when you're putting in the guidelines. And I'm gonna try and keep it consistent, all right? I went half an inch for this guideline. I'm gonna try and go half an inch for the next one, okay? All right, I'm gonna just keep going and hope I don't have to sit here for a while and fix things. I can see there's a slight hard line right here, but I feel like it's the same exact color. They look exactly the same. There's not much of a difference. It looks super similar. So now I got the one and a half guard here. Lever is again open and I'm gonna go up again another half an inch. Although I might do like a slight flick out as I'm going up to see if I can avoid putting in such a hard line right here where it's a little bit longer.
So now I'm gonna go back, even out the guideline here, but also try and flick out the bottom of this hard line and see if it gets rid of it, right? Let's try and minimize the amount of steps we have to take. So I'm gonna put the half guard on. I'm gonna close the lever now, right? And I'm gonna see if I can completely remove the middle line here. So a little bit of hair came off and that was like that little discreet hard line that was there. So let's do the left side. Feel a little bit more confident about this. This is the part that I'm really nervous about because it's so dark. This time I'm gonna go in with the half guard open, right? I'm gonna soften up this guideline here. And then afterward, I'm gonna go in with the one and a half guard closed and see if I can clean up the rest of the guideline. Hopefully it works. So now I've got the one and a half guard on, lever is closed, and I'm just gonna go slightly above where I just was with a slight flick out motion, all right? Let's hope this works. Before we continue with the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Self Haircut University. My goal with SHU is to help you fast track your haircutting education. Whether for self haircuts or cutting other people's hair, SHU covers both options. So that means less mistakes, faster results, and thousands saved every single year for the rest of your life. Now within 72 hours of joining, I'll personally be hosting a new member group coaching call to help you get started on the right track, as well as answer any upfront questions that you might have. With over 14 years of self haircut experience, 120 plus lectures, weekly group coaching calls, live streamed self haircut tutorials, 24 to 48 hour feedback and even one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with me directly there's no better person with more passion than myself to teach you how to cut your own hair click on the first link in the description to start today thank you self record university for sponsoring this video so now to go in and remove this bottom hard line i'm going to grab my clipper with no guard i'm going to put it in the halfway position i'm going to go around just a little bit with the no guard halfway and then i'm going to come in under that with the lever closed right and then use the corners do some flick out a little bit and then after that if i still see a hard line i'll grab my trimmers and use the corners to flick at that bottom hard line
So now close the lever completely and flick at this bottom hard line. There's still a slight hard line on the bottom, so I'm gonna try and reduce it as much as possible by using the corners of the trimmer, okay? So I'm gonna be doing some detail work. Any dark spots, which I see a handful, I'm just gonna run through them, figure out which guard, which lever position gets rid of them so I can kind of create a more gradient effect because right now I'm seeing a lot of light to dark and there's not that nice of a transition between the two. Honestly, you guys, I'm just going in. I'm using lever closed. I'm using lever halfway. I'm using lever open. I'm picking out whichever dark spots I see. I'm trying from longer and then gradually going shorter until I feel like I got rid of it as much as I could. But let me go ahead and grab my thinning shears and comb and blend in the, the longer length of hair up here. Now, if I'm still seeing some dark spots, I'll go in with my thinning shear and instead of holding it like this, I'll flip them upside down and use this blade right underneath and kind of cut right at the hard line. And because it's a thinning shear, you know it's a little bit safer. And I'm gonna do this around my head wherever there's dark spots and just see if it gets rid of a little bit more of that dark spot. So now I'm gonna go in, clean up the beard, show you guys the final 360.
All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for the half guard and one and a half guard self haircut, all finished. These are the only two guards that we use throughout the entire self haircut. Just the clipper, my trimmers, a handful of lever positions, and these two guards, and this is what we're left with, all right? To be honest, I'd probably give it like a six and a half, maybe a seven on a good day. But let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of the results for this self haircut using just these two guards? Oh, and some thinning shears, all right? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Also, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below. You guys, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace!